managing editor to streamingmedia.com. Today, there are several options for video server platforms out in the market. Real Networks produces Helix, an extremely comprehensive server platform that provides support for most common formats of video, ranging from mobile, including support for 3GP and iPhone, through Windows Media and Flash Media, to RTP RTSP, opening the door to streaming to almost all of the rich variety of devices out in the market today. In this short tutorial, we're going to get you going with the Helix Server Trial so that you can test out some of these features for yourself. The first thing you need to do is to open up the Real Networks website at www.realnetworks.com. From here, the easiest way I find to track down the trial is to simply go to the search box and type in trial. By doing so, you should end up with a link to download products. And from here, it should be self-evident. Download the Helix Universal Server 30-day trial. You'll be asked to fill in a form. For speed, for the demonstration, I've already pre-filled one with my information. You hit submit. And you get your option. Today I'm going to install on Windows. So we save the zip file to the disk. I'm going to save it to my desktop for ease. And while that's happening, you should have entered your email on the submission form and you'll receive your license key by email. Let me just get the install underway, open the zip file, and under Windows you simply double click on the zip file. Select Run, wait for the extraction. While you're doing this, you might find it convenient to go and see if your license files arrived. Here's mine. I'm going to download this file and again I'm going to save that onto the desktop. It's only a small file so it won't take too long to download. Let's see how that unzips doing. Here we go. Asking me to begin the setup process. It's useful if you've got any other media servers or software which might be using the same network ports as Helix to turn these servers off. Otherwise they will conflict with the install process. The server asks you to install its license file. You can browse to the license file which should be on your desktop. Moving forward, you accept the license terms, choose the location that you want to install the server at. I'm going to use all the defaults for the sake of this demonstration and press forward. Here you want to choose a username for your administrator. I'm going to use admin. I'm also going to use admin for the password. Not very secure. I suggest you use something a little more secure than that. You choose your admin ports. I'm going to use 3445 and 8123. You can choose these at your own discretion. For RTSP connections, the default port is 554. You will need to open up these ports on your firewall. For flash streaming on RTMP, you need to use port 1935. HTTP, port 80. Again, make sure you don't have a web server running, otherwise, you won't be able to get past this stage. And for HTTPS, 443. This box is used for filling in various details to ensure you get your certificate files for secure connections over HTTPS. We're going to skip that for today. Again, we're going to use the defaults on this box too. Some people like to install this as a service. Some people like to run this as an executable when they start their machine. In this instance, I'm going to go with the defaults and let Helix install as a service. It'll start every time I fire this computer up. Hit go, check your settings, and hit install.
And once it does, click OK. And you should find a couple of new icons on your desktop. We can close the web pages. We won't be needing those for now. Now that we're installed, we've got to start the service. After a reboot, if you've installed the service as an NT service on Windows, the machine will actually start on its own. However, since we're not going to do a restart right now, we've got two choices. We can either run the executable from the desktop using the shortcut provided, or slightly more controlled way of doing things is through the services interface. We're going to go into the Windows services interface, track down the Helix mobile server, and hit go. And after a few seconds, the Helix mobile server is started. You can see it here. Now we've started it, we're going to open up the Helix mobile server administrator using the other icon that's provided on the desktop. The username is the username you provided, in my case it was admin, and the password was the wonderfully secure admin. And after a few seconds, we're logged in to the Helix administrator. So, the burning question on everyone's mind is, has it worked? From the administrator main page, up in the top right, if you click on samples, it'll take you to some links that launch sample files that are installed in the demo server. For this test, I'm going to just click the flash sample. Launch the flash sample player, and lo and behold, we get a few frames of video. I hope this presentation has been useful. In the next presentation, I'll be showing you how to publish some of your own content using the Helix server.